Hi, Yuri. How are you? And tell us where you are and what time it is over there. I am fine, thanks. As I was saying, speaking from Angola, Luanda, and it's about uh, uh, 10 to 4 here. Sweet. Can you then like move back from the... There we go. Okay, Mrs. Director. <laughs> Let's see. Is it fine like that? Perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Thank you. I'm going to okay. start over because your hands were everywhere and I don't want to cut that. Okay, cool. Okay. Hi, Yuri. Where are you? What time is it over there? <laughs> I live here. Fine. Uh, I'm speaking from Luanda, Angola, and uh, I think it's around uh, 10 or 5 to 4. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's five o'clock here, so that means it's four o'clock there exactly. Yes. All right, all right, all right. So what's going on with the COVID situation? Are you guys under lockdown? No, we're not in the lockdown, but uh, we are doing all right. I can, say, I can say that, at least better than South Africa. Okay. And, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, we're doing okay. And um, the Is there a curfew? No, no, we do not. Uh, we had it like two weeks or so last year. Uh -huh. Yeah, last year. It's stable. Do you have a view of the numbers, like the infection rates, the percentages, or anything like that? Well, well I don't, last time I checked, because, like, truthfully speaking, this COVID thing is making me sick and tired. Yeah, nobody's and, checking stats anymore, honestly. Yeah, and uh, usually at around uh, like in two hours time, I think one hour time from you for you guys, mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna give us the stats. They okay. usually give us the stats at around six p.m. over here. Okay, daily. Daily. Ah, uh, okay. So, what measures are in place? What are you guys doing? Are you wearing masks? Sanitizing? Yes, are you we are. Uh, open. We do have like uh, shoppings and restaurants. They are open until ten. A mask and also distancing on restaurants and everywhere. Banks. Uh, mm. We have to like to follow the international rules. Mm. Okay. And then the pe people that uh, test positive, how are they getting treated? Well, uh, people that are getting tested positive depends of uh, the symptoms that they get that they, that they get okay okay if it, yeah if it's like uh normal normal symptoms they they you 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 you, you treat yourself at, yourself at home okay but if it's, it's like uh, and it's bad hospital it's bad, yeah you have to go to the hospital and the people that come from overseas uh, they, they, they also have to be like in 14 days uh, quarantine quarantine Where? at home at home great you're saying your borders are open and if i come over there to visit you i have yeah, to we, quarantine actually actually e, no if you like if you're not if you're not part of my family or stuff like that you have to book an hotel or a place to stay but if if you're a resident, you have to be like ten to fourteen days in lockdown at your house. But we we were open last week. No, yeah, last week Friday, and then they they decided to 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 close it from to um, for, for for countries like South Africa, Portugal, Namibia, Mozambique. Why are you all playing games, though? Why are you all playing these games? Close we're not playing these games. I mean, the numbers are growing. I mean, the numbers are going up in South Africa, so we don't want to take the risk. Okay. In Portugal, is, 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 in Portugal, it's also the same thing. They even got to a lockdown on Friday. Also, they started a lockdown, a massive lockdown in Portugal. So those are the countries that uh, usually uh, we so have a lot of... Into Angola. Yeah, yeah. What home Sorry. remedies are people taking? Well... Teas and uh, lemons and uh, vitamin C and teas. What teas? I want to know about the teas. 
I mean, some people are using traditional things like are they helping? Herbs. Are they working though? What are you hearing? Yeah, because be, uh, some of them they 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 work because uh, most of the thing most of the people uh, treat COVID as like a flu. So that's that's sort of what it is essentially. Yeah, that's okay. that too. What did you take when you had it? Well, I never had it. <laughs> Don't trick me. Don't trick me on that. <laughs> never felt no. Are symptoms. you playing soccer wearing a mask when you play? What do you do? No, we, we can't we can't play with the mask. You, so you, then have... so you're just living your life normally. Is that what's happening right no, now? No. I mean, we do have like with the places that we go and play, we like use the sanitizers we use those uh aids that when you pass through there to oh, it sprays you the whole thing yeah yeah the like an antibacterial that, yeah wow. the antibacterial birds. yeah so you go through that before you start to play everyone has to go through that the cars also go through that so yeah and okay. yeah and then we play i mean we we the thing is that if we live with this thing on our heads we won't do anything but we have to also respect the fact that, that there are people getting killed and there are people dying over this. Yes. So, but yeah. most of, uh, like, for example, in Portugal, most of the people that are dying are old people because they, um, they're not that strong. They're, 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 um, their body is not that strong to, to, to get, uh, to, to protect themselves from the COVID thing. So, you like you, you're young. <laughs> okay, so what are your thoughts on the vaccine? Are you guys importing the vaccine from a specific country? Are you guys developing your own? Will you take it if it does come? Well, definitely we're not import. Uh, we're not making, but uh, I think that our government is planning to import from China. Would, uh, I would, if I have to, I would take it because. Right, but uh, if you don't have to, if I don't have to, I, I don't take it. I mean, okay. We only we only react when we feel that we need to do something to ourselves. Right. Until then, and I mean, I'm, I've been dealing with people, touching people, and like unexpected, unexpected. So, yeah, it is what it is. Until something happens. Never notice. Okay. So what's, what's been the biggest change for you since Corona started? Well, the biggest thing that uh, that I enjoy is that uh, you get to know more your family, especially if you if you have your own house and you get to know things. You get to know areas in your house that you never went to, even <laughs> even though you live. <laughs> How big is your house, Yuri? <laughs> my house is not my house is not that big, but I know that I don't go through every corner of my house. I did a, a cleaning, a clean up on my clothes and stuff at my at my house, and I found out that I have a lot of things that I don't use. So that made me pack a lot of bags and start to give people some clothes and family. Decluttering and your life. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it, it's uh it's those type of things that the, the COVID, that the covid brought us it's like to put us a little bit more together speak about our lives our That's future nice. our businesses and uh, yeah and knowing the people also around you but the bad thing is that uh, especially for the people that um, deal with with uh, entertainment there, there's no shows there's no uh, there's no TV appearances. I mean, there's there's a lot of things. There's, there's, you, you, uh, if you're a sportsman, you used to go to the stadium. You can't go to the stadiums. I mean, you, it's like they they the, the COVID took us down whatever we were doing for free or for fun, and now we're doing some a lot of responsible things. That's. I think that's a good thing, I guess. I mean, yeah. obviously it's not good for the arts because you're saying, and I know this, but you know, the struggle is real. So yeah, yeah but we are doing things creatively now. We're finding digital ways to get our work out there, which is great. And you have a new music video out, which is on YouTube. So I'm gonna put the link up on the description so people can check you out. 
please do so. I will do that. So you see, you are creating still, which is really good. Um, but yeah, thank yeah. you for your time, young man, sir. Salut. Say thank you for your time in Portuguese, so you know, so I can have some okay. some flavor on it. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, muito obrigado por, pelo convite e espero que a próxima vez uh, uh, tu me convides outra vez. Translating. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Translating. Translating. I'm saying thank you once again for inviting me.